in this video we will continue our discussion about comparing the matrizome between in vivo and ex vivo pdac so in the previous video we have discussed that the reason behind the difference between uh, the characterization of the pancreatic cancer cells in the in vivo and ex vivo the reason is that the in vivo or pancreatic cancer cells takes longer time for the development whereas the ex vivo pancreatic cancer cells take less time and this is the reasons why uh, we have seen or why people have seen more interstitial inter interstitial matrizome pro proteins in the in vivo results and more basement proteins in the ex vivo pdac results so we will continue that discussion that is comparing between in vivo and ex vivo uh, pdac matrizome analysis so after finding out uh, the basic reasons behind the difference between in vivo and ex vivo they also they now they check uh, the relationship between abundance uh, protein high protein abundance with the ecm uh, proteins number of ecm proteins that are found in those number of ecm proteins that are found in those samples and what they have find out is that there is a direct correlations between this increase in the number of ecm proteins is uh, directly correlated to the number of abundance proteins that are found in the patients that can be seen here so this indicates that the abundance of the most of the abundance proteins could be the ecm proteins and because of the difference in the time durations in the in vivo and ex vivo pdac uh, formations this results become more abundance where the number of abundance proteins are this difference become more aggravated where the number of abundance proteins are higher in the patient samples and after that they hypothesis that they can separate they can cluster the dif uh, they can cluster the different uh, samples from the patients uh, based on their abundance level and they when they plot the PC, when they do the pc plotting of those uh, samples they are able to uh, find out is that the proteins uh, that has uh, the samples that has a low abundance are grouped together and the samples that has a high abundance are grouped together and also the grouping is uh, more close or uh, more closely clustered uh, among the patients for example this uh, 12556 are grouped on the top uh, are on the bottom left corner whereas uh, 12556 are grouped on the bottom right corner uh, whereas uh, this 12560 are grouped at the top so after uh, validating that they can group cluster the patient based on the uh, protein abundance or uh, then thereafter they wanted to check whether there is a correlation that they are able to find out uh, between different uh, between different uh, between the ecm proteins that are uh, present in their model and the ecm proteins that are present in the primary tumors and when they try to uh, do the linear regression they are able to see that for the organoid and pcm they can uh, predict the they can predict the number of ecm proteins in the primary tumors based on the uh, models based on the number of ecm proteins that are found in their ex vivo models however the linear regression is not so good for the pdx model because of the uh, most of the uh, murine matrix uh, murine matrix are present in this pdx model uh, which uh, interfere their results and does not directly shows the relationship in the linear regression model and thereafter they check the different compositions of the pdx and the organoid uh, models and what they have able to uh, find out is that in the pdx and the organoid most of the 50% of the core ecms are related to the mouse whereas very less uh, ecms are related to the humans in the pdx and this uh, could be the reason why Uh, this could be the reasons why pdx and this could be one of the reasons why pdx and organoid models does not resembles close to the 
does not resemble close to the uh, in vivo pancreatic cancer cells uh, factorizations and these things are been shown in the panel e where uh, we can see that for the sample uh, for the samples of for the patients that has a low abundance of ecm proteins uh, such as this 12556 there is a, the correlations between uh, pa ecm and, and the in vivo pancreatic cancer cells or in vivo uh, pancreatic cancer tissues are more uh, compared to the organoid or pdx whereas in the sam uh, in the patients where ecm proteins are highly abundant they can see that the correlations is weak uh, for the pa ecms and organoid and even uh, for the pdx to some extent so this comparisons between in vivo and ex vivo pdc metrosome analysis provide us some insights why uh, there is there are some differences in the in vivo and ex vivo models and overall uh, they they made a point that the they are custom designed pa ecm uh, based pdc cell culture gives more close results to the uh, more close results to the in vivo observations of the pancreatic cancer tissues if you need to understand more about their bioinformatic analysis and their experiments in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time